Anyways guys, this episode we're talking about test-driven development and how to use it to build out features in your Rails apps. Now the idea behind test-driven development is that you write your test first, you have it create the code that you would like to have, and then you implement that code and make the test pass. Then when you need that code to do more work, you create a new test, you make sure that you update your code to pass that test, and so on. And so you do the bare amount of work to pass your test each time so that you have new tests added for every case that you need to handle. So let's take a look at an example here. I would like to implement a method called rating.promoter, which will return true if the uh, score was a nine or a 10 and false for anything else. So let's implement a test that says uh, promoter returns true if uh, score is 9 or 10 and we can write our uh, test here that says score is 9 and we want to assert that the rating promoter is true. So if we go run our test we will see that it fails because there's an undefined method promoter. We didn't build that yet and so we can go define that in our model. We'll do the bare minimum which is just adding that. We make our test update with a different error and now it's returning nil and it wants it to be truthy. So in this case we can just do the bare minimum again which is a hard code that return value to true and our test passes. So everything's good right? Well not quite. This isn't actually doing anything related to the score that was passed in. So that means that we need to add another test to make sure that we are forcing that code to change.